this is long like that because it was all matted and nasty. So I'm turning my curved scissors upside down. I always see the little things that need to come off. And I'm just going to stand up, buddy. Accentuate that a little. him. I usually like to leave a little more on the chest here. Okay. okay. So I'll leave the legs for now, but they're pretty much done. Oh, have to show you the feet. Feet again, we want a nice round foot. So the legs are pretty well done to the shape I want. So I'm brushing it back. And with curved scissors, you can also do it with straight. I'm gonna make a round foot. And again, less is more. Don't take off too much until you see what it looks like. So. The front of the leg should be where the, the nails are. No, stand. Okay. Okay, now we're going to do the head. Yay, everybody worries about the head. How do you do the head? So, come here, honey. Come, come, come. Go on, boy. Stand. Come on, sit. Jeez. Okay. I keep telling him we're almost done. He doesn't believe me anymore. Okay. Again, the trick to getting a groom that, a trim that's going to stay through a few washings is having it dry properly. If you get it dry, bone dry, and you brushed it dry, and there's no mats, because you'll see if you, let's say you dry, but there's a little piece here, it's going to be curlier. So when you trim it, it won't be the same length the next time as it is now when you trimmed it. So you want it pretty much all to be the same length. So I'm gonna trim his face first. I'm gonna use an eight and a half today. Again, I'm going to start between the eyes. 
giving a little room for error. I'm doing it backwards. It's got a nice muzzle, and we can, and then just scooping it up between the eyes. Oh, some people worry about cutting them with the clipper. You can't cut the dog with the clipper. The blade is actually inside, it's the shorter one. So you can't, just try it on your hands so you feel comfortable with it, okay? So any spot that you're worried about cutting them, try and use the clippers. If you use scissors, it's, it can be a little scary. Yeah. That's right. <gasps> Okay, now down from the top, along the sides. Down. Again, growing in the going in the direction the hair grows. Straight. And straight back to the collar. I don't go when I'm doing it this, I don't go above the lip line. But I'm stopping right there at the collar, and then I can do more with the scissors after. Then, again, it's from the corner of the eye to the corner of the mouth. That's the only the amount that you do on the face. For him, I'm just going to scoop it a little bit. I want to leave a little more hair there, but I want him to be able to see. If you take hair from on top of the eyes, like this, you see how, see how that's getting in his eye now? So most people think, I'll trim his bangs and then he'll be able to see. Well, if that was longer, it wouldn't be in his eye. And the hair that makes them see is the hair underneath that you want to get rid of. The hair on the face. The people that use those big puffy muzzles, which is not a Portuguese water dog, they can't see. So I'm just scooping this a little bit, not too far. I'm looking where the corner of his mouth is. And I'm kind of going at an angle from his eye to the corner of the mouth. I'm doing it really lightly because, again, it's that margin of error. Okay, then I'm going to clean this up where my thumb was. Hey, buddy. Good boy. Okay, now he can see. And he looks beautiful. Okay, now we scissor the head. So the first thing I do there, again, is find the length of the ears. The ears, I trim right to the leather. It grows so fast. Some people like to leave a little bit. I trim right to the leather. So put your thumb there so you know you're not cutting the ear. Go all the way around like that. All right, these are pretty much trimmed. The other thing I do if they're not showing, is just to give a little more air into their ears. If they've got a heavy coat like he does, I'll trim some of the hair inside the ear. I'm doing that really lightly. Okay? Oops. These crazy clippers. I love them, but they get full of hair. There. Enough. Now we're going to make sure we got to the leather. OK. 
Okay, I think that one's done to the leather, but there's still hair on top. So I want these to be even. I'm going to do them kind of at the same time. So I'm turning this one to the leather. So now what I'm going to do here, you're going to have to come in front, Bernard. I'm going to hold this up here like this, and I'm going to shape the neck. And I want to show the shoulder, so I want it to go shoulder in and up like this and over. So again, not taking very much. And if there's hair in there, I usually go over it like that. And then put the ear down. You lock it up. And you want to trim the ear and the side as one piece and end up with a nice line coming like this. Depending on how much hair they have. So I'm going to kind of pretend that that is one piece. Again, be careful. If you come over here, Bernard, you can see that the ear looks like a piece of the head in the back. Okay. Do the same on the other side. There's more hair over here. It's probably easier for you to see what I'm doing. Make sure you get all the hair pulled out. Sometimes when the when you have the noose on here, it'll hold up the hair. There we go. So we got lots more to do with there. Can you can you see from there? Okay. So again, I want a nice curve in here. And because he's short, I'm trying to make it a little bit short, but not too much because I can always take more. And like in the first video, I'm taking it from the collar up. If this was a show coat, it would be a little different. So these are curved scissors. So they're going fairly straight up, but there's going to be a little curve at the top. And then I can do the top. We still have an issue here. Again, I'm taking small amounts so I don't make a mistake. Stay. Stay there. So for the top of the head, just locking it up. I want it to work into the back. And I don't want him to look like he has a 60s afro, particularly.
And now I'm going to gradually go up to the top. And I like it to be round, but I don't like it to look like a ball sitting on the top of his body. So again, I'm just taking off small amounts. And it's like topiary. You can really make it just about any shape you want. And remember to go in the direction of the hair. And it happens a lot that you tend to take too much off the top. So do the sides first until you figure out how you want that to look. Because again, you can't put it back and it grows slower. And that's going to also lay down a little bit. So be careful how much you take off the top. We want him to see. I like it not round, just just off round. And we'll see how much that flattens down. So I'm going to leave that for now. I'm going to clean up his neck and under his ears and this front part. So the front, I like it if you can see their eyes, but still have a little bit on top. Remember, this is a curly, curly coat. Okay, now as far as cleaning up under the ears, I'm going to the front. It's good to do this without the noose on, so you know where all the hair is. So I like to see Again, these video videos are called the way I do it. <laughs> so I like to see a nice shape from the side, a nice silhouette. So I do this right up to the neck underneath here and then gradually shape it down. He should be standing, but he's had a hard day. Okay, and then if you come over here, Bernard, underneath here we want it it should the ears are supposed to come to under the jaw and so all of this here should really come to under the jaw so we want to gently curve this up so it'll look like that can you see and that's kind of all one piece And then this is curved up here. Take a little more off those ears. And I'm going to curve this a little more from the back. So we have a nice line, not a round ball, not flat. Everything kind of joined together. And when you look at him from the front, you want him to be even. This needs to be tidied over here a bit. So, I don't know if you can see the difference, but this is higher than this. And personally, this looks better. So I'm going to take this off a little bit. And try to get them even. That's the hard part.
Now, that's pretty good. Let's see what he looks like. Come around the front for there. Head. What I usually do is when I'm done, I let them walk around a little bit and see what I need to take off. The other thing is, that's not going to stay as fluffy as it is now. But I am going to take some more off of here. There's always that piece that sticks out. Okay, I'm gonna finish that. thing is when they shake and you can really tell what it looks like. I don't know if any of you paint like do watercolors or anything like that but I always think of that when I'm doing this because there's a point where somebody needs to take the brush out of your hand and put it down. Step away from the scissors. Okay, last thing, tail. Don't forget the tail. Come on back here, Bernard. So, this tail is a little wet. Never trim the end of the tail, but the tail needs to be brushed just like the rest of them. And the tail's kind of got two sides to it. If you put it on the table and brush this, it's not going right through. You have to do both sides. And it's still a little wet in the middle. And then run the comb through it. Stand, buddy. Stand. Okay. Now, I'm going to spray them with water, just plain old water. Thirsty. Nice. I'm going to 
drink. Show dogs are awesome. Hey, buddy. He's already a falling down. I want him to be able to see. Okay, come in. There, when they shake, that's truly what they look like. And come here, buddy. I usually end up going over it again. the scissors outside for a bit but you don't have to watch that there. and that water is just going to curl up the coat again and there we go